Welcome to the Meridian Expedition. We're looking for smart people across the world and now we're in Russia and uh, we decided to visit the Innovation Center in Skolkovo and meet with the people who give a helping hand to those in need. We are a Russian producer of artificial arms for people who lost their limbs from uh, birth and uh, from different traumas, car accidents or domestic traumas. Our mission is to make 100% of handicapped people with upper limb traumas happy with our devices daily. Uh, help them not only physically to retrieve uh, the wrist in a high quality, but also mentally, because look at the quality of this. It looks like a real arm and uh, it can be stylish as well and you can get all possible designs. It's available for kids, it's available for adults. They are very creative and maybe five or ten years ago most of people who have these types of traumas they prefer only cosmetic glove to cover to show that they are not different and right now the personality is appears on the first place and uh, children for example they prefer superheroes or some favorite toys to live with this toy day by day that is indeed true. As you can see on the graph of the overall satisfaction with life, people with two and more hands are 100% satisfied with life, while having only one hand drops the level of satisfaction to a stunning 50%. And having no hands does not bring any joy either. As you can see from the comprehensible graph prepared to you by the analytics of the Meridian Expedition, the amount of hands strongly correlates with the overall life satisfaction. And thankfully there is a bionic solution to this problem at hand. Back to you, Matsorike. Yes, and we helped them to recover their possibility to use hands, to use grips, to use different uh, features, to ride bikes, to uh, ride uh, something with the pen or pencil, to feel themselves better and to change the attitude towards these people in the society. Because they are not different, they are just using the smartphone or smart hand. And it's one and uh, simple difference between people who are wearing devices and who is not. Take a look at this worker for example. Can you guess which hand is the Matorica hand? I'll play it slower for you one more time. That's right, it's both of them. We have different types of uh, hands, yes, and uh, for example this is the wrist and uh, it works uh, with uh, the movement of uh, the wrist, of the joint it's very easy to go and actually after five minutes uh, after the installation yeah, the patient or the kid can have a grip can write can use it and it's uh, lightweight and it's 3d printed so it's uh, produced especially for this uh, patient exactly for this patient with his size with the, his the type of trauma because all traumas they are quite different this white hand, it's operated by the elbow, not by the wrist, but the elbow. So it's a trauma below the elbow and it's also lightweight and, uh, mm, you know, quite fashionable. <laughs> It is a great honor to be surrounded by people who are doing everything they can to help those in need and uh, not do it because of their personal stories and personal suffering, but because it's the right thing to do. No personal stories, just uh, my personal will. So we also encourage you to share this video and uh, subscribe to the Meridian Expedition to learn more about people like these. Give a helping hand to those who need it. Cheers! And don't forget to subscribe to the Meridian Expedition to learn more about local solutions to global problems. See you on the way!